How do you avoid injury? Well, I'm going to show you quite a few drills and exercises that you can easily incorporate into your warm ups that are going to do just that. Every training session that I do incorporates some form of balance, stability, and strength work. Now, the strength work is designed to minimize injuries. So we're looking at protecting the knees, the hamstrings, the Achilles tendons, and the back, for example. Many of these exercises utilize a bar, as you can see from what the guys are doing on screen. Now, by transferring the bar from one hand to the other overhead, of course, you're implementing the need to be stable. And that's the purpose of this drill. You're integrating your entire body into a controlled movement and creating a lot of stability or indeed trying to create stability. There are lots of variations with the bar as you can see on the screen now. A key exercise that I do include in two to three workouts a week are eccentric lowering squats. The objective is to lower to a slow three to five second count. In doing so, you're working your muscles eccentrically and eccentric exercise is great for tendon and ligament health and also can combat, for example, jumper's knee. Using a bar can also teach you to better recruit certain muscle groups. So here, these reverse hamstring lifts are doing just that. The bar's position overhead prevents the torso from moving too much backwards and forwards. Therefore, the athlete has to engage their glutes and hamstrings in order to take the leg backwards. And that's what's key, the engagement of the correct muscles for the correct exercise. In the second part of this particular stabilization bar unit, we moved to forward travel and sideways and backwards movements with the bar. And you're seeing some of the variations on screen now. The hopping laterally backwards and forwards ones are also adding a plyometric component. And we're looking at a straight leg, well, a relatively straight leg contact and the utilization of the ankle to generate the force whilst maintaining posture all the time, i.e. with the bar overhead. There are three to four of those specific bar overhead straight leg jumping exercises and we'll do each one one to two times, 10 meters forwards and often 10 meters back in total, and of course on both legs. You're now looking at the next progression in the training unit, and these are more dynamic blocking drills. So as you can see, we're bounding forwards to block on one foot before swinging the thigh to move into another block. And we're looking for a frozen position, if you like, on the contact whereby the athlete moves into sprint posture and is able to control their forward momentum. You can also see that we do this laterally with a kind of speed skater jumping movement. And again, the objective is to pause at the end of each movement in sprint posture before swinging the thigh laterally to drive your body across to hold again. Many jumpers and sprinters can get caught up on the notion that being more powerful, being faster, being stronger is crucial. Well, of course it is, but you need to have your stabilizing muscles. The supporting smaller muscles work in on the actions as well. If you can't stabilize your body whilst you're running, for example, then of course you're going to waste a lot of force in lateral movements. I do have people in my training group who are incredibly powerful but can't perform some of these stability movements. They start to find them really hard just after a few seconds. That's because their smaller stabilizing muscles and their proprioception mechanisms are not up to speed on these movements as well. So you need to be synergistic between your big power producing muscles and your smaller stabilizing muscles. Put the two types of training together, then you're gonna be able to apply force, speed, and power much more effectively. If you have any specific questions on the subject matter of this video, then do leave a comment in the section below. Good luck with your training and any competitions that you might have coming up. And please do subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll be made aware of any new content that I upload. And do consider becoming a channel member. By doing so, you can help me help you become a better athlete and coach, as I'm hopefully doing at the moment. 
For as little as just £1.99 or dollar equivalent a month, you can become a channel supporter and do just that. I've also got coach athlete memberships whereby we deep dive into many of the topics that I cover on the main channel, where I quote research, provide training programs and give you that extra dimension to the information that will hopefully improve you. Head over to the channel's homepage, click on the members button and take a look at the offers.